Hello friends, welcome to my channel of more and more food, flavor, color and celebration. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. I hope you all are doing super. I am doing super fantastic. What we are making today is the very seasonal fruit chiku. You've already seen how I have peeled it how I have blended it. So I've taken around two big chikus. If you got small ones, take four small chikus. All right, this is a chiku dalia. Very delicious. And we are going to add in that jaggery. Okay, so dalia I have taken, this is the wheat dalia. See properly. I have taken this three fourth cup. And I'm going to roast this on the gas and I'm going to keep this aside. Then how much dalia, that much chiku paste you need. So this is 3 fourth cup. And I have taken half cup jaggery. If I need more, I'll take more. I've taken right now 1 fourth cup ghee. At the end of the recipe, I will tell you the total ghee I used. We need some chopped nuts. I have here from my previous recipe, roughly chopped. We need two tablespoon poppy seed, khaskash. Okay. Then we need some elaichi powder. Okay. And we need some few pinch of nutmeg. That's it. Let's quick, quickly get started with the recipe. So we'll start with roasting the dalia. I have to roast the dalia first. It is very much available in any banya shop, supermarket, big basket. Okay, it is very much there. So we will have to roast this. And we will remove it on a plate. We have to roast this till the rava puffs up. We have to bonify this well. There is one unique aroma you get from the well roasted dalia. That's when you need to remove it. Time to remove the one unique aroma you will get. That is when you need to remove it. Chiku is a seasonal fruit. This is the right season to have your chiku. So, don't be afraid to make delicacies out of it. This is the season to eat your jaggery, your ghee, your sugar. This is the season. Okay, now to this I am adding ghee. just add half of it now at this stage you need to add your poppy seed I forgot to do that so ensure that you add it now before adding the chiku paste yeah. so be very careful when you do this be very careful I think I'll add the jaggery also to this only. It's a delicious chiku wheat dalia. And once you make this, you will always remember me. Delicious Chiku Dalia this is. Adding some more. If it will be good, you will know. 
So I've added complete one fourth ghee here. I'm going to take jaggery, uh, three fourth cup. And you can see here, the chiku paste is completely sorted well. See, all the ghee is coming out and you can see the it has lost all the water content in it. You can make out. Okay, at this stage, I am adding the jaggery. Once you add the jaggery, just see the color. You can see. melted we don't want these lumps so see when you make you won't have any problem because all the measurement correct measurements will be there at your disposal Now this dalia I'm adding here. Keep the gas slow. <laughs> this is a delicious halwa. There is another uh, chiku halwa on my channel i will leave a link on the description box do check that also so this is chiku dalia okay and that is chiku halwa another one fourth ghee i'm adding two tablespoon now Don't forget, we have already bhuno fried the the dalia. Look at the color, so beautiful. It's looking. At this stage, I'm adding some of the nuts. Some of the nuts I'm adding. One tablespoon I'm adding. Oh God! And I forgot to add the poppy seeds. I'm adding the poppy seeds also. So ensure that you add the poppy seeds in the ghee itself. It's optional if you don't want to add poppy seeds but I would request okay. you to add poppy seeds because that takes this dalia to a next level we need hot water so one and a half cup wheat dalia was there so to that I'm adding one and a half cup hot water be very careful this is like a boiling lava okay be very careful when you're making these kind of halwas This kind of halwa is the call for the season. Okay. Get the gas slow and we'll cover it with the lid. 
slow gas. Let's check friends. The color of this chiku dalia is going to become even more dark because of the chiku and the jaggery we have used. So don't worry about it. It is super delicious. We'll again cover with the lid. Still not done. So I'm adding to this half teaspoon elaichi powder and some jaifal. This is the wheat dalia. So the wheat dalia takes a while to cook. So another half cup water. Cover with the lid. Five minutes, sorry. Let's check out friends. Total ghee we have used is half cup. As you can see, the dalia is leaving the side of the kadai. This is the sign that the chiku wheat dalia is done. See how it is moving. It is not even sticking to the kadai. So now let's plate it. Friends, the delicious chiku dalia. Oh my god, chiku wheat dalia. Friends, I do hope you have liked my today's recipe, which is definitely very unique and very yummy. Chiku wheat dalia, a very much winter special. You must make this recipe for your family. So if you have liked, do consider subscribing my channel. Your support is very much needed for my channel to grow. And friends, take very good care of yourself. Be safe. Thank you so much for watching all my videos. Until we meet next, don't forget to eat, love and pray. Bye.